right, welcome back. Um, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing up the placement and then we're going to work on the routing of the board. And so we're going to take a pretty simple approach to routing. We're going to auto route this board uh, just to kind of keep it, um, to keep this moving quickly. I'll demonstrate how to hand route. Uh, but a lot of these sort of early prototypes like this, you're going to see are going to be auto routed and that's going to be okay. Uh, for something like this. Of course, when you go into production, a lot of times you really want to uh, make sure that the routes are exactly the way you want them and, you know, for manufacturability. And so there are just some things that uh, um, Auto Router doesn't necessarily do um, do perfectly. So, um, yeah, so uh, let, let's go back to where we left off here. Um, you know, here's our, let me zoom out here. I'll show you the board. Here's the board. Let me go ahead and put it in the middle. There it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead for what we're doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the T place and B place layers. Um, we needed those, if you recall, so we kind of look at this connector placement. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep those off for now. I'm just kind of keep it uh, from being too busy here. Um, one of the things that was kind of left open from the last video is the placement of the light sensor. The light sensor, uh, mechanically, we want it lined up over this hole because this hole represents the center of of the um, of where the the, the glass uh, filter is. And so let's go in and fix that now. Um, you know, I could, I, I need to probably take this symbol here or this uh, footprint and and augment it to put a a cross or something right where the center of the light sensor is. But let's go ahead since I don't have that right now. Let's go ahead and go over to the board outline here and let's look. One of the things we can do in the board outline, which I think is, is really handy, is we can move parts around here and then push them back into the other, uh, other uh, into our, our layout tool. So what I really want to do is kind of move this so this, this dome up here lines up with that hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to... Um, uh, get into the move PCB and I'm going to select it and it gives me these handles and I can just move things around so I can um, you know I can pull this aside and I can just line it up like that okay I can make it uh, yeah, probably good enough uh, this part's going to be hand bent um, so you know it doesn't have to be perfect it's not it's not going to be that accurate anyway when we fold it over but this kind of gives you an idea and I'm going to say okay here um, and so it's going to tell me things are out of whack here. Notice these these holes didn't move along with it because the, the update needs to happen into the in the layout tool, and then we'll come back into this. So let's let's go ahead and, and push to the 2D PCB. That's this tool right here. Let's go and push, and so it'll pop open that. And so it's already done the move. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right, and then I'll go push it back to the to the 3D PCB and we can look at it and those holes, once this, this does its update, those holes will now line up. And so I'm, I'm lined up over the over the, the, the filter now. That's probably good enough uh, for what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, leave that hole there. I don't think that hole is gonna hurt us and it'll be kind of a nice target for when I'm, you know, when we're folding that light sensor over to hit that, hit that um, spot. <clears throat> we may even wanna add some we want to add some silk screen there uh, to, to make it easier to, to, to line things up. All right, so let's go ahead and do a save. Okay. All right, so let's let's take on the, the, the real focus of this, uh, which is to get this board routed. Now, one of the things I want to do first is I'm going to lay in a ground plane. And so I want to put that ground plane uh, probably on my least populated layer, which in the case of this board, that's actually the top side. Sometimes it's on the back side, uh, but I'm gonna put it on the top side here. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, so I, I'd say that is that is the um, thing we wanna do here. And so I'm going to um, um, create a polygon pour. And so I'm going to uh, draw this line. I'm gonna draw it on the top side here. I'm gonna draw it all the way around the board. It's gonna ask me what signal. Now, what signal should I use for, for this plane? 
ground is the obvious choice because what, what I really want to do is I want ground to um, to, to represent the um, I, I need as low a p impedance um, connection to ground since ground goes everywhere I want the least impedance for that signal possible so I'm going to use ground and I noticed as I was doing this uh, boy these um, you know some of these parts aren't in the right spot for, for what I want. I think I want these test points on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy here. I'm getting out of that mode, getting move mode here, and I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna whoop, I'm gonna pop it on the other side. I want to put it on the side of the go ahead and place it down. Notice the 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 plane had and healed itself there. So it goes ahead and it's doing updates. Um, that's not true for all tools. Um, I'll put this on the other side too. Put it on the same side so I don't have to via. I don't want to via to this pin. All right, so what else looks a little bit off here? Um, th this one looks okay. Um, although I might, on this one here, I might also put it on top um, or on the, the blue layer on, on the back side um, so that I've got a straight shot to the, uh, to the light sensor. And same thing with this one. I think since it's sitting out there kind of all by itself, I think I'll spin it and I'll place it right there. So that'll kind of heal my ground plane up so I don't have any more um, um, cuts in it than I have to have. Um, all right, perfect. So um, yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I think that's good enough. I'll go ahead and do a save. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to to auto route this board. And so if you come up here to quick route, um, you can um, set the auto router here. And I'm going to say, okay. Oh, sorry, I the wrong button. be popping a window up somewhere else so what's going on here is it going to the background here all right so I'm back um, so um, I'm gonna say continue and then I'm gonna say start see what it can do here see if it's got what kind of a job it does here so this top one looks like the one I want to use um, all right so it says it finished it um, kind of uh, minimally chopped up my plane here that looks good um, yeah so I, I think this is okay so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and, and do a design rule check on it. Let's look and see how many air wires we've got. So I'm gonna go over to DRC and I'll go ahead and do a check. And so I've got some dimension problems. Okay, I think those are gonna be okay. I think I might even want to um, remove um what, what this is saying is these holes here um um are, are causing a problem i'm too close this copper here if you zoom way in what it's saying is this copper here is too close to this hole this hole is part of the component um some variants of this connector have an alignment hole here that um that, that we can probably get rid of. And so we'll, we'll take that on in another video. I'm gonna say that that's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna close those down. Let me bring back up DRC, let's rerun it. Yeah, so it's just, it's complaining about these eight things here are complaints about um, being too close, this copper here is too close to these holes. I'm gonna say that's okay for, for a prototype like this. Uh, I'm gonna leave those, I'm gonna prove all these. Um, and so we're, we're okay, so we're good. 
Um, so there's our board. Our board is routed. So let's go ahead and save it here. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to um, push that over to the three-dimensional side here. So you'll see all the, the traces will come in. There's our board with all the traces. You can kind of see how things are routed here on the back side. Um, so um, I think that's probably um, a good sort of, uh, sort of um, job here. Now, a lot of times, and, and just to be frank, and honest, you know, um, a lot of times uh, because boards are so inexpensive, I might just go ahead and ship something that is um, what I would call a little bit half baked. I just uh, I just did it with the auto router uh, real quick, um, and I might just ship that out just to get something out and working. Things like you know things I don't like to see are things where traces are wrapping around capacitors and things like that. You have this long run that kind of wraps, kind of circuitously wraps around. Well, you know, that isn't the greatest. Um, it doesn't violate, apparently it doesn't violate the design rules, but it's also not really a good job. And so I would go in and try to clean all that up. But, you know, sometimes in the interest of time, it's better just to, to cut it loose while you're fixing, fixing things like that, cleaning the board up, just so you can start to... to, to um, um, check other things. There may be other things wrong with the board um, that, that would be worthwhile to find out now um, that you want to go ahead and ship it out. And just, again, a board like this is about 20 bucks at Osh to get three copies. A lot of times it's, it's, it's just better to ship it and, and, and then, then get a board in that you don't end up using than it is to kind of wait for perfection on the board. Um, so this sort of a mantra that I had at a former employee, you know, a continuous improvement beats postponed perfection. Uh, so it's very easy to get into a postponed, uh, 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 postponed perfection mode when you get to circuit boards. I've been there. So um, I try to avoid that where possible. Go and get those boards out. And so you can get one populated and find other problems. All right. So we're not quite done here. Um, I'm going to end the video right there uh, for this. I would say uh, routing is complete for this. Um, that's good enough for, for right now. Um, you know, if you want to look at those backside traces, by the way, you can come over here to the layers and you can turn off the top here. And so now you can look at what those, those traces look like on the bottom. Uh, that, that's, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and turn that back on so we'll see the top. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video here. Um, and what we'll do is we'll come back and uh, there's actually another step we want to take here. We want to clean up that silk screen. Uh, just otherwise, you know, what's going to happen is the, the, the board vendor is going to truncate all those, all those uh, uh, silk screen. And some of those are just going to turn off because they're just kind of annoying, like the big one for the crystal. And so some of that stuff we're going to turn off and that's fine. Uh, so so uh, let's let's come back and we'll we'll kind of clean the board up and kind of get it ready, uh, make it presentable. We might even add a, add some text to the top that's that's relative to what this thing is. All right, uh, more next time.